Hello everyone, welcome back to Alan Wake, Barrow's here. So last episode we were running from the police and the FBI agent is going crazy and wants to murder us. Another thing is, I turned down the microphone volume that I record with, so hopefully it's kind of more in line with the game audio that's so quiet, so that way you just have to turn up your device volume up higher, but it shouldn't be like my voice is getting louder at the same time. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. Keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Yeah, she sounded like she was like a rope. Like, it was like taken out of like multiple conversations she's had and someone just pieced up together words to make it sound like she was saying that. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Mm, okay. There's like a secret over here. So we actually have ammo and stuff. Yeah, I forgot we have our shock, or we have a shotgun now, right? Yeah, that's the actual shotgun. We have the pistol, we have some flares, and flashbangs, but we do not have the flare gun. Okay. It's been a few days since I played. Oh, I'm actually full up on ammo? Nice. Oh, a flare gun! Yay! I was just talking about that. Is there not anything else here? Guess not. Do you hear that breathing? <gasps> oh my gosh! I didn't mean to have my flare out! I forgot how to select it. Okay, well, I wasted that. I, don't, I mean, I guess I didn't waste it. I used it. That scared me. Jeez. <laughs> like, that scare got me in my, like, my stomach. I, like, clenched. I'm like... <laughs> I was just like, I hear breathing. I still hear the breathing, though. My goodness. Oh, so I forgot. That's how you do that. I okay. could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Yeah, because we, um... We didn't crash ours. Cause, oh, yeah, because we went to a radio station and then they just started shooting. Well, the FBI started shooting and then the cop lady, I forgot her name, was like, what are you doing? Oh. Oh, there's an actual train going on. Whoa. Uh, could you not? Thank you. Don't fall on my head, please, and thank you. I'm actually gonna walk on- was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. be going. Ouch. What am I doing? Wait, can I? No? I don't know what I was doing there. I'm sorry. Um, maybe I was supposed to find a ladder or something? I didn't see one. Okay, let's try that again. Hoped I could find a car for Oh, me. man, I'm all the way... Oh, well, I guess it's not that far. 
So yeah, I didn't see a ladder up. So maybe I'm just supposed to dodge that stuff? I was trying to use the flashlight because I was like, well, if it says it's like possessed or so something. Because there wasn't one back here, right? No. Hmm. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its path yeah i see that so that doesn't work for that but it works for that oh jeez Like, some of this, I'm like, am I supposed to be wasting time? Like... Okay. What? Oh, the flare! That probably worked. Let's try that. <laughs> My goodness. I could find a car from there. Yes, I know. Maybe we are supposed to use the flare. Um, I'm not sure how exactly how to use it. I don't remember. I think it's R2. Well, I think you have to have it equipped. Or no, you have to hold R1. That would probably work, actually. I hope I don't waste one, though, but that would probably work. Out of my way, Barrel! Ah! The darkness that was pursuing me. Because there is no. Oh, the, well, there was kind of a thing there. I don't ever know what I'm dodging right there, either. didn't work. Jeez, I'm almost dead again. No! I'm so close! Okay, I see. This is the way to go. How am I supposed to... I don't understand. How am I supposed to dodge some of this? Okay, let me try this. Let's go. Well, I'm almost dead again. How did that happen? What? <laughs> I just cannot. I wanted to really like this game because it seemed the story was going to actually be like, you know, thought provoking and make you think. But I just keep getting stuck. Like, I don't know if it's just because I'm horrible at this, but like for this, like, I'm doing the best I can. I even went through it fast this time. Used my flare. Here, I'll, I'm gonna do it again. I'll show you guys. But like, I don't know what else I could be doing better. Cause the flashlight charge doesn't last long and I know I have the battery. So like, I could the reload it. But like, it just takes so long to destroy something. Jump! All right, so we're gonna light the flare. Ouch. What? Um. You see what I mean? I couldn't even move. It said something behind me was gonna be doing that. Maybe I should just keep lighting these flares? Is this working? Did that work? I'm out. Peace. Give me this, hurry. Thank you. <laughs> we might still die. He slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Uh-oh. 
Um, so are we... Oh, there's a ladder here. Yeah, that was very intense, I will As say. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. Oh, the light. Is safe in a good horror story. Heavy Certainly duty? The protagonist. That's oh. what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess oh. anything. And it was getting closer. Got a heavy duty flashlight now. I'm assuming it's charge lasts longer, hopefully. Okay, so I just see an explosive barrel down there. But, like, that was near the end. So it wasn't even... Oh. That means there's a lot of explosive barrels. There's about to be a fight, isn't there? Like, there's a lot. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Jeez. I'll take all this. I'm full up on that. Let me guess. Is there going to be a timer? Oh, no. Yes? I'm dead? Oh. Jeez, okay. So this time move out from back in that little corridor. No one is safe in a good horror All story. the way here? Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. Okay. The darkness could possess anything. Let's and it was getting this closer. Again. Okay. We can do this. We got this. I think I might have to pick up that thermos again, but honestly, I'm not going to worry about it. Like, there's no way I'm going to get all 100, so... Maybe I should just have my shotgun. There was that big dude. Or I also do have a flare gun. I could use that, actually. But it's not reloaded, of course. So I'm actually going to use it on you. Ha 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 ha! Bye! Oh, that got you all. Is that that's not gonna be all of you, is it? Thank you. Oh no, the gates are opening. I guess. It's definitely doing the thing though, where um Hello? Oh, jeez. Ooh. Ah! And wait, am I trapped in here? I try to exit, I try to exit, I try to exit! Ah! Oh my goodness. It seems like with the heavy duty flashlight, the light is. the aiming is a little bit more difficult to see where you're getting your headshot. Okay. Good to go. I'm actually surprised I did not die there. Could have used the flare. I need to remember all my tools, too. Okay. Let's go. Oh, it's so light in here. Can we heal up these? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me pick up all of this. Oh, a TV. You know what? Let's actually watch it this time. We take the facts I actually feel bad for missing that one. I skipped it. Aware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right. Tonight's episode, A Family of 
occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durla. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Um... I'll show you a kiss. I, um... I... <laughs> okay. Poison? What? the movie I think Slither that's a good one it's like a horror gory movie okay there was something I was going to say but obviously I've forgotten the darkness surged towards me sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths tugging at my clothes I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself oh. towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground the darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Oh yeah, what I was going to say is like, I guess I should have played this on easy if I was just playing it for the story. I just didn't think it would be this difficult. Oh. Thank you, thank Oh, I can't pick that up. Can I pick the ba batteries? Flares. It really is gearing me up for. Can I not pick? Okay. Oh, maybe I'm full up on batteries too. I do have 20. This is definitely, once again, giving me. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh! <gasps> That's not what I wanted. Ah! Oh my gosh! All right, so we have normal dudes. Okay. How do I avoid that thing? <laughs> oh, do I have flashbangs? I probably do. I haven't used them at all this time. Let's equip that. That'll probably help for that. Wait, where's the... Oh, right here. And we should equip the shotgun. That's already loaded. I wish it would hold more shots, though. We don't have a flare gun, so this is gonna have to do. Okay, come on. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. me so bad okay but I did see that button so 
That's what we need to do. So it's probably just a time thing here. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad I died so I didn't waste that one flash. I mean, the flash ping was... But I'm still gonna use it, I think. Okay. Go, 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 go! Affected by that? Oh no. Whoa! Not nice! Ooh, that was close. That was my fault. Can you wait? I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Take. Is this three or four? This is the fourth take already, I think. At this point, I'm just like, I don't know. Just. Stay back while I press this button. Stay back. Whoa! <laughs> press the button! Press the button! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Okay, I actually pushed the button. So, the gate is opening. Whoa! Okay, I... Ah, we're doing a lot better. Open, 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 open! Go, 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 go! Let me in. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, I just was not timing it right, I guess. All I literally had to do that time was throw a flash grenade and then I hit the button. I that have was... never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Yay, am I going to be driving? The coal mine wasn't far now. Oh, is it that house up on the mountain? That looks like a factory. Oh, I'm not in the car. Okay. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. Mm. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Wait, I have no weapons? Oh, um, I guess we could still drive up in here. Don't mind if I do. I was just gonna walk because I thought you got out little of the chair. By little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over mm. by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Going around, I think? Yeah, I think this works. You're just not realizing that the manuscript pages are coming true? Like, I realized after, like, the first two. But it does say there's going to be a moment where we fall into a lake, so it's set at the kidnapper, so I'm assuming once we make it to the coal mine. There's obviously going to be a showdown. Am I going the right way? Let me check this out. Wait, I don't even have my flashlight? Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a radio. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBS FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man with mm -hmm. a trigger figure who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but. I'm just so peeved right now. 
focus. Some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what He's you're talking doing. about us. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson sure. all morning. But first, a little music. A little music. All right. So, is this the way to go? Can I go into this car? Oh, I can. I think I like the police. Is this police truck? Light and power truck. I think I like this one more. I wish I could turn the lights on. Okay, I'm gonna assume this is the way I need to go. Oh, wait. This way? Which way did I just go? I didn't just come from this way, did I? I don't think so. No, I did not. Across this rickety bridge. Slow visibility limited. This is driving this just reminds me of driving GTA, which sometimes we would just go so fast on like the highways of GTA. I mean, even just the city streets, and it would be crazy. And then if you crash, you just go spinning. Come on, Chuck, you can do it. Ooh. What's going on up here? The watchtower? Any secrets? There's gonna be so much we can explore, it looks like. Cause there's that building down there. Oh, I think that's the mine. Oh wait, is this where we were before? Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Oh, see, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever getting complete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish, even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one, she was. And she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but no, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. All right. Goodbye. Thought there's gonna be something else there, but you're just talking about your love life, I see. <gasps> Ouch, my bones. Okay. Let's get back into shape here, Alan. Okay, next stop. I'm pretty sure this is the coal mine, but I could be wrong. Or this is just a piece of it? Because it's still saying to go further. So I'm assuming this is not the right place. Like, there's so much here. Because this isn't where I was before. There's nothing here. Oh, wait. We can still go up. Is there just going to be another radio up here? 
A note. Vermont. Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look of the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. Okay. So this is all just like little secrets you could find. Oh jeez. Don't die. You don't have lots of health. Was there something on there? No. Okay. Let's go through this way. I think the truck is squeezed through here. I wonder, like, there's probably so many secrets just hidden around in the woods and stuff. I'm just... Honestly, don't feel like exploring the woods that much. Oh, yeah, the coal mine. It's right here. Visitor parking. Well, I park wherever, okay? I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Oh, what is this? While lucrative at first, the mining steadily declined in the 20th century. The seams were rich but hard to get at, and the volcanic activity in the area... Volcano? Oh, yeah! They did say that. That's what happened to that one um, little island thing we were staying at. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Okay. In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Now many of the remaining buildings are protected as historical landmarks. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. I mean, we haven't seen them all episode. <laughs> the new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. Oh yeah, he didn't show up. It's way past the It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. And that's... Oh, hold on. We'll wait till after the phone call. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! I'm gonna kill him! Uh -huh. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone!